everybody! Welcome back to PPH Online Sunday School. My name is Elizabeth and I am so glad to see you. We're starting a new series today and so welcome to the Kingdom Repair Squad. Just like repair shops, uh, fix computer bugs, fix our smartphones, and keep our gadgets running smoothly, uh, we're going to use our tools like our Bible and learn how God repairs our broken lives and he makes things new. Our series memory verse this month is, Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God. God hears us when we pray. So I'm going to pray. That's the first thing we do before we do anything else. So now that I know that God hears me when I pray, let's pray. Lord, we're so thankful that you're here today. We ask that you come into our homes. We invite you into our rooms. And we ask that you would help us to listen, to obey, and to hide your word in our hearts. Help us to trust in you and have faith in you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Great job. Now, are you ready to worship? I know I am. Okay, so let's get up. Get up, get excited, and put your wiggle shoes on. Let's worship. Never gonna stop this now. Never ever gonna stop this now. Never gonna stop this Never gonna stop this now. You're gonna make me. Of me. Do you believe it? Let me hear you say it. I believe 
God takes care of me. Great job. We're going to go to Paula right now, and she's got a couple of our digital resources. I've attached some digital resources for you to use this week. One is your activity paper, and another one is a silhouette figure. Now, you can use these today as you're following along with the lesson, or you can use these after your lesson. The activity paper has has directions for you, but your silhouette figure, I want you to think of someone who takes care of you, okay? Can you decorate that silhouette figure like that person who takes care of you? And ask yourself a question, how does God take care of the person who takes care of you? We're gonna learn that today. Paula, I have a memory verse. Can you look it up for me? It's 1 Kings, 17 and 14. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meat shall not waste, neither shall the cruse of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Okay, we're going to learn that God provides, even when it looks like there's nothing left, God's going to provide. The Bible is full of exciting, amazing stories telling how God takes care of his people. In 1 Kings 17, like we just read, the story of how God took care of Elijah, a widow and her son. So here's a picture of the prophet Elijah and King Ahab. Now, King Ahab and the prophet Elijah were talking. And Elijah told the king, because the people have been worshiping idols, God is going to shut up the heavens. It will not rain again until I say. Whew, those are strong words. Do you know what an idol is? What would happen if it did not rain for a long time? These are big questions. So, for three and a half years, it did not rain. No rain, everything was dry and everything was, was dying and oh my goodness. So here's a picture of Elijah walking and meeting a widow. It was a bad time for the crops, the animals and the people. God told Elijah, go to Zarephath. Stay there. I have commanded a widow to take care of you. A widow is someone whose husband has died. And widows had really no one to take care of them. So they were pretty much poor most of the time. Elijah obeyed. He said, yes, Lord, I will go. He found the widow picking up sticks to build a fire. He knew this was the widow that God said would take care of him. Elijah asked, would you bring me a drink? I'm thirsty. The woman said, okay, I'll bring you a drink. And as she started to get him a drink, Elijah said, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you also bring me a piece of bread too? She stopped and stared at him. Sir, I only have enough flour in my barrel and enough oil in my bottle to make a small loaf of bread for me and my son. I'm picking up sticks to build a fire, the last fire I will build. I'll break the bread and, and after we bake it and eat it, we will die. Have you ever said to yourself, I'm starving to death? Were you really starving to death? This widow had one last meal and that was it. She had just a little bit of flour and just a little bit of oil. Elijah told her, don't worry. First, bake some bread for me and then you can 
bake some bread for you and your son. What did he say? Bake some bread for him and I only have enough for me and my son? It's going to be a very small loaf and we can't share. Oh, what am I going to do? But Elijah said, for thus saith the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste. The flour, it won't go to waste. Neither the cruise of oil, that bottle of oil, it will not fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Remember, the Lord said, I'm going to stop all the rain. But Elijah said, it may not be raining, but the oil and the flour will last until the rain comes. So, the woman knew this was a prophet of God, so she obeyed. She went to her kitchen. She begged Elijah a small loaf of bread, and she used all of her flour and her oil. And then she thought, well, this is it. Something amazing happened, though, after that. After the widow obeyed Elijah, there, there was more flour and more oil. I only thought I had a little bit. It was just like Elijah had said. There was enough flour and enough oil, not only for Elijah, but for the widow and her son. And until the drought ended, and the rains poured down. The barrel of flour and the bottle of oil never ran empty. Because the widow took care of the man of God, she obeyed the prophet of God. God took care of her. He answered her needs. And he took care of her and her son. God takes care of his people. The widow trusted that God would take care of her. Elijah believed that God would take care of him. And God takes care of me and you. He takes care of us. So, we're going to answer that question. I believe God takes care of of me. Because the widow believed that God would do as Elijah had said, she gave Elijah the first loaf of bread. Sometimes our situation seems impossible. I'm going to grab some scissors. Sometimes our situation seems impossible, but just like the widow, if we obey God and obey what he asks, we will see God can come through for us. He wants us to trust him. Do you trust in God? So I'm going to do something that may seem impossible. Do you see this piece of paper? It's just a regular piece of paper. Do you think that I can walk through this piece of paper? You see the size of me and you see the size of this paper? Do you think I can do it? That's impossible. Well, I'm gonna try it. I do have to follow the instructions very carefully. And sometimes God asks us to do some things that might be hard and we need to listen carefully. Things like trusting in him, forgiving somebody who may have hurt us. That's hard. We're supposed to love our enemies. We're supposed to obey our pastor. Oh, but Sister, Sister Elizabeth, he says some things that sometimes I don't know if I can do. Just like the widow obeyed the prophet of God. We must obey the prophet of God in our lives. We must obey our pastor. 
sometimes we have to admit when we're wrong. I don't like to admit when I'm wrong. I like to be right. You know what? God sees when we admit when we're wrong. He wants us to obey our mom and dad. Oh, that's a hard one. But we can do it. Okay. I'm going to see if this worked. Hopefully it did. I followed the instructions and I obeyed. Okay. Let's see if this works. Do you think it worked? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. right now. Paula, can you help me? We're going to see yeah. if Paula can walk through this piece of paper. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. It worked. Yay. This is amazing. That piece of paper grew and grew and grew and it seemed impossible. But when we trusted God, the impossible became possible. Thank you, Paula. God takes care of us in so many ways. He takes care of us and he takes care of our sin. He saves us from sin. He helps us to repent and say we're sorry for our sins and helps us to do better. He helps us when we get baptized, when we put on his name, and our sins are buried underneath the water. And he helps us when he fills us with his spirit and we receive the Holy Ghost and we can live a better life when we have his spirit living in our hearts. Let's all pray. Lord Jesus, Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for caring for us and helping us have people in our lives who take care of us. Thank you for giving us a way of salvation. Thank you for saving us from our sins. And we know even if it seems impossible, you make it possible. Help us to obey you. Help us to find you when we don't know what to do. Thank you, Jesus, for always being with us. We love you, and we thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Great job, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye. We hope you've been blessed by these online Sunday School videos each week. The material comes from our Word of Flame curriculum. So each week you are provided the digital version of the activity paper, but if you'd like a printed version so that you don't have to try to print it each week, you can visit PentecostalPublishing.com to access these activity papers in a convenient tear-off pad and use those to reinforce what we're doing each week in the lessons. Additionally, you'll see that we are decorating this classroom so that it's got an extra element of excitement for our kiddos. And so this material is coming from our Word of Flame Teacher's Resource Packets. This kit is also available at PentecostalPublishing.com and it's got posters and visuals that you see us using to help make this lesson come alive. Then if you are enjoying the music that we've been sharing for our worship time, that music's coming from our Best of PPH Kids CD and digital download music that's available on the website as well as from our VBS programs. So our hope is that all of this material has been a blessing to you and to your family. If you'd like to contribute to this ministry to help us with this investment to make this extra resource available, you're welcome to visit PentecostalPublishing.com donate. Thank you, and we pray you are blessed by this video today.